The Los Angeles Lakers can't get nobody, ladies and gentlemen, right? They do not want to play with LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a couple days away since free agency started back on Sunday, right? And the Los Angeles Lakers basically did nothing, right? Their front office basically did nothing. The only thing that the Los Angeles Lakers did, ladies and gentlemen, right, is bought Bronny James, right? The guy that LeBron James vouched for, right? A guy that LeBron James told the Los Angeles Lakers to get in order to retain the services of LeBron Ramon James. Not only the Lakers have sold out for LeBron James, right? But LeBron James have literally called the shots within that organization because how powerful he is, his influence as well, right? And how, like, his word is a heavy say-so within that organization. Right to a point where that then produced an organization that have been dysfunctional over the last couple of years as well. With multiple head coaches been fired, multiple players have been traded as well. The organization have been making wrong moves under LeBron James. LeBron James have gotten head coaches, coaches fired as well. Right, and it then resulted in impacted players not even want to deal with the Bad Girls Club of L.A., the Lakers are looking like the laughing stock of the NBA, ladies and gentlemen, right? You had Klay Thompson literally had the opportunity of going to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers going to add or is going to offer him more money, more years as well, right? He sat there and said that he don't want to go to the Los Angeles Lakers because it reminded him of the situation with the Golden State Warriors, a dysfunctional organization. So he chose the Dallas Mavericks, Right? We're talking about a guy like Buddy Hill, who had an opportunity of going to the Los Angeles Lakers. He chose the Golden State Warriors. And we're talking about Vucevic as well. Ha chose the Washington Wizards over the Los Angeles Lakers. Many other players chose other teams over the Los Angeles Lakers because that roster, if you look at the roster for the Los Angeles Lakers, that roster is not fit to win a championship. They basically run it back, right, with the loss of Torian Prince, right? That's what they're basically running it back with. This organization is terrible. This organization is a laughing stock. And LeBron James has single-handedly destroyed the organization. So now to a point where LeBron James, when he signed that max extension, ladies and gentlemen, right, and he's making, what, $52 million a year. So that means that the Los Angeles Lakers are going to play LeBron James at the age of, what, 41-40, 40, $52 million a year. That's going to put them over the second apron. So when you're above the second apron, that means it limits what a team can do in acquire free agents. That means they can't acquire free agents. It's only due to a trade if they're moving salary. They can't add in no picks as well. And they punish teams that above the second apron. So LeBron James signing that max extension put the team in a situation where they can't acquire other free agencies, right, or other top talent that is available, right, during the season. So LeBron James didn't take the pay cut. He lied and clutch sports fed y'all that wrongful information thinking that he's going to take a pay cut when LeBron James is selfish. He's all about himself, right? LeBron James has used his nepotism to hire, uh, um, to get his son, Bronny James, who doesn't even deserve to play basketball, who is not really good at playing the sport of basketball. He loses nepotism to get Bronny James, right? He loses his power to hire his podcast guy and J.J. Redick, who has no coaching experience whatsoever. So when the Los Angeles Lakers fail and they haven't addressed the needs of the lack of, uh, you know, point of attack defender. They don't have no secondary creation out on the wing. You didn't add of a serviceable big man as well. So Anthony Davis can play more of his natural position. You basically run it back with this dumpster fire, right? And you got delusional Laker fans thinking that it's the coach the reason why they didn't get over the hump. But at the end of the day, you're hiring a way worse coach than Darvin Ham and J.J. Reddick, who has no coaching experience whatsoever. The Lakers are failures. Their, their organization is a laughing stock, and I blame LeBron James. LeBron James is so obsessed with doing, so being the first person to do something, bro. It's sick. It's sickening. He is destroying not only his legacy, 
But he's destroying one of the most perceived organization in NBA history, bro. That's what LeBron James is doing. So at the end of the day, when y'all sit there and blame role players and coaches, you got to look at LeBron James because his decision making and his influence when an organization was going in another direction, he told the organization to go get a guy in Russell Westbrook who's making $48 million, right? And get him to the Los Angeles Lakers, which that's going to lose t key pieces that helped them win the championship in 2020. We're talking about point of attack defenders, the KCP, great floor spacing, secondary create out in the wing, Kyle Kuzma, right? A great point of attack defender in Alice Caruso as well. Doing that by getting... Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook who doesn't fit well with LeBron James. LeBron James who is supposed to have the highest IQ vouch for the organization to go get Russell Westbrook. And since then, the Lakers have not recovered those pieces, those draft picks, the continuity as a team since LeBron James vouched for getting Russell Westbrook. So you're telling me it's all worth three to four head coaches being fired within the last five years. It's all worth 40 or 50 players getting traded since LeBron James been with the Los Angeles Lakers for one championship in the bubble and years of mediocrity. We talk about two top 10 players on the roster and the expectation was to win multiple championships, right? And LeBron James have failed. Not only he has failed, but when he gets involved with organizations standpoints, bro, he is destroying the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers have no future. They have no future. So at the end of the day, there is no peace. No players are willing to come over there and deal with the drama that has LeBron James present. Nobody wants to play with LeBron James at a point of his career. He's regressing as a basketball player. He's nowhere near the same defensively. He's nowhere near the impactful leading scoring option or the secondary scoring option on the team as well, right? He's just not that impactful player, ladies and gentlemen. So when you dive deep in the water, I am laughing. <laughs> I am laughing at the mediocrity of the Los Angeles Lakers. Their organization is done. LeBron James have destroyed the whole entire team, bro. You want to start putting blame to not only the front office, but also LeBron James because he's the one that influenced the other people in that organization to go get these other guys. <laughs> this man, LeBron James, has missed the playoffs. He has got put out the first round, got swept in the Western Conference Finals, missed the playoffs again. Like, what is he doing? What is the sense of the direction what the organization is going through? Is they going to sit there and allow LeBron James to play with his son, Bronny, and miss the playoffs and not be in, in, in a top five seating? Because they've only been in a top five seating once. Like, what is the sense of direction with the organization is going through? Why y'all can't move on for LeBron? LeBron James and Anthony Davis is not good enough to win a championship as a duo. They're just not. So at the end of the day, chat, when you dive deep in the water and when you break it down, he has destroyed the organization. And now he repays them for not taking a pay cut, not sitting there and saying, you know what, I am going to sacrifice and help the organization get better pieces so it can produce a cohesive roster so if they can make a deep postseason run, right? I'm going to take $52 million and put the team over the second apron, and now they can't get anybody, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, man, LeBron James, bro, all respect to you, bro. The way that you finessing and finagling your way out, man, m much respect, bro, because at the end of the day, bro, you a shysty motherfucker. You shysty. <laughs> you shysty, bro. <laughs> That's it, man. Those are my thoughts. This is your boy, Bookie Jones. I'm out.